Cyclization by tributyl tin hydride and AIBN part 2. Let us take the question. Major product formed in the following reaction is. This is Maharashtra set 2020 question. Now, here the cyclization occurs. How the cyclization occurs? The four options is given and which will be the product? You have to identify and you have to solve this question using tributyl tin hydride in presence of AIBN as a initiator. Now let us take the question. In this compound, the Br bromine will be removed. Here the Br will be eliminated and this uh, hydrogen will cleave. So you will get a radical here. And in this double bond, here it is uh, A, a bond is formed between this A and B. So the bond is formed here. Again, a radical is formed here. Now this uh, hydrogen again on cleaving will get the product like this. The product formed will be option B. B is the correct answer. Here A was not correct because uh, this uh, double bond uh, is as it is in the reactant. And B and C was also not correct because there was no double bond. There was no double bond here and D, in compound D also the double bond is uh, not shifted here. Hence option B is the correct answer. Next question. 3 bromobutyl cyclohexene only. What happens here? How the cyclization occurs? First, as per uh, discussed above, the bromine will be cleaved. And the cyclization occurs by forming the product like this 1 methyl hexahydroindine. Let us take the same reactant here due to steric hindrance, the same reactant we have taken, and due to steric hindrance, the product formed, the cyclization will not occur here. Instead of cyclization, this bromine will be replaced by hydrogen. Hence, here there will be no ring formation occurs. Isn't? This will be the product. This bromine is replaced by hydrogen. No cyclization form due to steric hindrance. And this product, uh, we are expecting this product and this product was not formed. Next question. Let us take this one this compound and cyclization occurs. The bromine is removed here and this double bond will be shifted and the cyclization occurs to give the product and this will be the product. This and cyclization forms a 5 membered ring compound and this will be the product. We we'll take next reactant. This on cyclization gives a 5 membered Ring. This is a 2 ethoxy hexahydro benzofuran. Let us take another reactant. This on cyclization. That is Bu3 Bu SNH AIBN in excess. So, in excess, what happens? This bromine will be replaced by hydrogen. No ring formation is occurring. Remember, remember if there is a a steric hindrance. There is a steric hindrance and in tributyl tin hydride is excess, no ring formation occurs. These two points you have to remember. So, hence the product is like this 2 allyl cyclohexyl ethanol. No ring formation occurs. Let us take this product. This bromine is replaced by hydrogen. Then cyclization, it gives a ring compound. Let us take another compound. This compound, on treating with tributyl tin hydride, gives this one. This on cyclization, 
use the product like this. Here let us mark A, B, C, D and E. Now A, B, C, D and E. A cis product is formed. Let us take another reactant. Here, what will be the product? The retention of configuration occurs where this chlorine is replaced by hydrogen and no ring formation occurs. And let us take this type of reactant. Now, what happens with on treating with tributyl trin hydride? All the four chlorine atom is replaced by hydrogen atom and no ring formation occurs is 3 methyl bicyclo 331 on in. Let us take the another reactant. Now, what will be the product? This on removing a bromine, a cyclization occurs and this on uh, this forms an acetal. This acetal again reacts with one H plus to give the product. 5 isopropyl 14 methyl dihydrofuron 21. This will be the product. Thank you for watching.